Okay, let's have a look at some more sequences. Uh, uh, the previous video that we looked at saw sequences that led to an nth term formula such as 3n minus 1 or 2n plus 2 or possibly if they were decreasing you might have had a formula such as 16 minus 2n something of that nature. Let's have a look at this type of sequence now and notice the, the subtle difference that you see in these sequences. Okay, if I have a look at number one, let's say I give you a sequence which is uh, 1, uh, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on. You can see that the numbers are rising. Okay, now you're trying to find an nth term formula for this particular se sequence of numbers. So what you do is the usual process. You say, what do I go and add from 1 to get to 4? You add 3. And then you say, let's add, well, this time it must be 5 to get to 4, to get to 9 from 4. So 4 to 9 is add 5. From 9 to 16, you add 7. From 16 to 25, you add 9. So you can see that these numbers are not constant. Each thing that you're adding are actually getting bigger themselves. So it's not going to be the case that it's like if it was add 3, add 3, add 3, add 3, then it would be 3n, which started off our nth term formula. That is not what's going to happen in this particular case. You can see they're all changing. Now as soon as you see this, what you need to do now is look at these differences that you've got here. These are called first differences because it's the first line of differences that you're working out, the differences between each successive pair of terms of the sequence. Now, if they're not the same, which they're not, then what you do is you look at what we call the second difference, which is, what's the difference between plus 3 and plus 5? Well, there's a plus 2 difference. Plus 5 and plus 7, there's a plus 2 difference. Plus 7 and plus 9, there's a plus 2 difference. So you can see that the second difference is constantly plus 2. As soon as you see a second difference being always the same, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, then you will have a clue as to what the formula will be all about. So, here we go. Nth term formula. And you know, you will know, you learn this off by heart, that if the second difference is always the same number, in this case, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, then the formula you're looking looking for will have within it an n squared term. Okay. Now you write down n squared, and you might need to adapt that in some way. So let's just check. Um, if n is one, you're going to get n squared will be one squared, and one squared is just one. So that happens to work. Okay, but it needs to work for them all. So let's check the next one. If n is two, two squared. So n is 2, 2 squared, that would be 4. Well, that's what it is, 4. If n is 3, 3 squared is 9. Yes, it is. 4, 4 squared is 16. The fourth term is 16. Yes, it is. And then n is 5, 5 squared is 25. Yes, it is. So for this particular one, it's the very simplest one I could give you. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 can be represented by the formula n squared. And... Uh, to be honest, some of you might have been able to spot that without me going through this, this second difference method and giving you the formula like that. Because if you look at that, 1 is 1 squared, 4 is 2 squared, 9 is 3 squared, 16 is 4 squared, 25 is 5 squared. So if I'm talking about an nth term, it's going to be n squared. I'd rather, however, do it formally because this for more formal way of structuring it can help you when you go into slightly harder ones. So if I, I give you a second one, okay, slightly more difficult. Let's say you've got uh, 3, um, 6, 11, uh, 18, and 27 to look at. And you've got to find the nth term formula. Okay, so this is what you'd start off by doing. You're saying, right, we're adding 3 there. To go from there to there, we add 5. From there to there, we add 7. From there to there we add 9. So you can see they're not the same common differences. They're not all the same. So it's not going to be a case of something like 3n plus 1 or something like that. 
Okay, so now we look at the second differences. Well, you're adding two there, you're adding two there, you're adding two there. You can see that in this case, the second difference is constant. It's a plus two each time. So I can immediately now say, right, that the nth term formula will be involving n squared somewhere. It's an n squared formula. So how do we go about working out what the n squared formula is? Let n equals 1. You get 1 squared, which is 1. Is that 1? No, it's 3. How could I adapt it to change it into 3? Well, I could do various things. For example, I could add 2. Let's try adding 2. So you get 1 squared is 1, add 2, you get 3. Let's try the next term. If n is 2, 2 squared is 4, add 2, you get 6. And that's what we've got, 6. So that works. If n is 3, 3 squared is 9, add 2, you get 11. It works. n squared, 4 squared, 16, add 2, 18. It works. 5 squared, add 2, 25, add 2, 27, it works. So there you go, there's the nth term formula for this particular example. Very straightforward. Okay, I'm going to do one more of the very basic types that you might get. So if I do number 3 up here, let's say I have 3, 12, 27, 48, and 75, and so on. Okay, so I've got a list of numbers in a sequence. I'm going to find the nth term formula. Okay, so to go from there to there, I'm adding 9. To go from there to there, I'm adding, what's that, 15. To go from there to there, I think I'm adding 19. Sorry, I'm adding 21. If I could count, it'd be, I'd be dangerous, wouldn't I? You're adding 21 to go from there to there. To go from there to there, well, if you add 20, you get 68, so you need to add 27. So you can quite clearly see you're not adding the same number. Fine, but let's look at the second line of differences. To go from 9 to 15, you add 6. From 15 to 21, you add another 6. To go from 21 to 23, you're adding another 6. So this time the common differences are plus 6. Okay? Plus 6. Now, notice Notice that we had plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 for the last example, and we had plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 for the previous example. Now, when we come to the nth term formula this time, yes, it will involve n squared, because all of these second differences are the same, but you can see that they're no longer plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So, actually, they're not actually going to be just n squared, or n squared plus a number, or n squared take away a number. What you're going to have is this thing here is three times as much. Plus six, plus six, plus six is three times as much as plus two, plus two, plus two. So it's actually going to start off with three n squared. And then you might need to adjust it with some plus or minus compensation at the end. So let, let's just try three n squared and see if it works. So if n is one, you get one squared. That's one. And then you treble it, you get three. Well, that works. If n is 2, 2 squared is 4, and then you treble it, you get 12. If n is 3, 3 squared is 9, then you treble it, you get 27. If n is 4, 4 squared is 16, treble it, 48. It works. If n squared is 5 squared, you get 25. Treble it, you get 75. It works. So that, as it stands, is the formula. So, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, all the same, second difference, gives you n squared, possibly with some compensation. But plus 6, plus 6, plus 6 is, well, obviously n squared formula, but because it's 3 times as much as plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, we have 3n squared. And we didn't need to put any compensation in. Uh, I will actually do another one, just to demonstrate how easy this is. How about then number 4? If I do um, 3, 
33 and so on. I think that will work out, I'll adjust it if it doesn't. Okay, so here we go to find the nth term formula. First of all, first difference, add 6. That one there is add 10, that one there is add 14. Okay, really there should be another um, value there so you get more of a pattern going on. But I'm going to carry on as it is. Okay, they're not the same. Okay, so it's not the first type that we dealt with in the previous video. So what we do now is we look and we see, okay, the second line, second difference is, is plus 4 plus 4. They are the same. So that immediately tells me, therefore, nth term formula, nth term formula will be beginning with, well, it'll have n squared in it, but it's plus 4 plus 4. And if I did another term, it would be another plus 4. Well, that is twice as much as plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So it's not just n squared, it's 2n squared is the basic formula I'm going to use because it's twice as much as plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Okay, when it was plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, we had 3n squared. Let's see if you need to compensate. So, if n is 1, you get 1 squared is 1. 1, one times 1 is 1. Then double it, you get 2. Well, we've got 3. So that's not enough. I need to add another 1 to get 3. So 1 squared is 1, double it, you get 2, and then add 1, you get 3. Let's try the next one. If n is 2 for the second term, 2 squared is 4. 2 fours are 8. Add the 1, you get 9. That works. n squared, 3 squared, 9. Double it, 18. Add 1, 19. It works. 4 squared, 16. Double it. 32, add 1, 33, it works. There you go, there's the nth term formula for this particular sequence. Okay, so there's a second video showing you some basic ideas of how to get an nth term formula when you have constant second differences, which all lead to some sort of n squared nth term formula.